few roar has broken out in the UK over a celebrity newspaper column written about Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Let's go live to 7 News Europe Bureau Chief Hugh Whitfeld. Hugh, understandably, thousands of complaints have been made to the press regulator. Yeah, Eddie, about 6,000 complaints after Jeremy Clarkson, who you might know from Top Gear, The Grand Tour, even Clarkson's Farm, wrote a column in Britain's Sun newspaper in which he said of the Duchess of Sussex after the Sussex's latest Netflix series, quote, I hate her, and that he was, quote, dreaming of the day she is made to parade naked through the streets while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Now, obviously, that has prompted outrage from very quarters throughout the community here. Questions too about how it even got past editors at The Sun. Clarkson's own daughter has publicly disowned his comments and said that she is siding with Meghan on this one. Clarkson has later tweeted to say, I've rather put my foot in it, I'm horrified and I shall be more careful in the future. He also says he was referencing a scene in Game of Thrones. Now he stopped short of apologising and keep Keep in mind this is not his first moment of controversy in the British media either. It goes to show, I guess, the tenor of the media that Harry and Meghan have faced in the past, continue to face right now, and the level of debate that their ongoing presence in the media and their documentary series have prompted. There is another documentary on the way from Harry and Meghan as well on Netflix, this one called Live to Lead. It is profiling a number of leaders, including the New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and climate activist Greta Thunberg. It is due to drop on Netflix on New Year's. Eve, Eddie. All right, thank you so much, Hugh.